All right, let's uh, let's get back to this. Time to best get around. Oh, I can't X-ray it. Do re me so far. You missed the T la part. Do re me T la so far. An ashtray in this day and age? How anachronistic is this place? It's like a Yakuza done in here. That's well, exactly what it is. <laughs> yeah. Help! I've been flattened! What Did the you hell? just hear something? That's really no, good. Nothing. Oh, just so you know, that thing's fake. It's not a real tiger. Okay. What question you got for me this time? It's the best thing about zombies. Uh, the person I like, who I like, who became a zombie, I guess. It's come when they join your side. I mean, yeah, I suppose. I'm trying to keep that thing balanced, relatively, I guess. Dirty naps allowed, really. Okay. How to go viral on kicked off workshop. <laughs> to get married, but her parents wouldn't approve of it. Said they wouldn't let me have their daughter unless I got out of the business. I agonized over the decision, so much that I could only eat two slices of pizza instead of the usual three. Oh man, that is... What a man has to do, what a man has to do, right? So, I made up my mind to talk to the boss about it, but before I could... Oh, I get it! Then I'll try asking him for you. <laughs> Moma listened to Iris. Wh what? I didn't have any ulterior motives, so don't get it twisted. I came to say thanks to the boss for yesterday. I was thinking of going to Akiba. This place is on the way. I Why see. Akiba? Well, um, I need to stop by a maid cafe. Maid cafe? Yeah, it's called Sunfish Pocket. My girlfriend works there. Okay. I actually used to attend the vocational school to learn about film. I wanted to be a porn director. Well, at, at least you're open about it. I used it. the connections I got there to reach out to a production company for online shows. And I was promoted to director right away. Supposedly, the last director ran away, so they really needed me to take his place. I, I see. We didn't have enough people. The quiz show needed three teams of two to answer questions. We tried hard, but couldn't get together that last team. I had no choice but to participate myself, so 
I invited the boss to go with you. And MoMA agreed to participate? Well, since Iris was gonna be there. Well, you know, it was a request from one of my precious underlings, after all. I convinced him by saying Tessa would be there, too. Then he agreed right away. <laughs> uh -huh. Didn't he just say so earlier? It is what it is. Yeah, I didn't take his finger or anything. <laughs> We're not doing any of that outdated cutting off your finger deal. After all, the Kumakuras are a gang with morals. Sounds like an oxymoron. Like a vegan zombie. <laughs> Sorry, but I haven't found anything that might be a lead. What about the rest of the staff? They'll probably tell you the same thing. The detectives from HQ have already questioned the rest of the staff. Their report is uploaded on the database. Zero clues. I see. There isn't any information that could help us at all. Right. I wouldn't know anything about the others. Supposed to swap every hour. I already okay. turned in the list of contestants to the cops. Why don't you try hitting them up one by one? The other detectives already took care of that a while back. No That's clues it. there either. There haven't been any reports of suspicious individuals. I'm pissed about the case, too. That co appearance was like a dream come true. The whole <laughs> show was ruined. I'd love to get my hands on the bastard responsible. A dream come true? The boss and Tessa got to... Shut it! <laughs> anyway, I'd love to help you with your investigation and all. But unfortunately, I don't have any info that might be you. I don't know what to tell you. Did you see any suspicious people hanging around the studio, for example? Suspicious people? Mm. I guess the only one who comes to mind is Kameji. Kameji? You mean... Yeah, Andy's Kameji, the host. Supposedly he has connection to the Yakuza. I'm not talking about our group, of course. It's just something I heard at a meeting with the street bosses. Word is, he's involved in some dangerous transactions. So dangerous it turned his head into a cube. Though that might not have anything to do with last night. Meiji has connections with the Yakuza? Could it be true? Let's figure that out later. You need to gather intel for now. Got it. Then let's go somewhere else. Alright. So all we have is a department store. <clears throat> There really is an amusement park on the roof of a department store. That's just... That's just weird. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. Does she also have a square head? It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Anyway, he writes, Death Tub. And I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Uh huh, he wrote butthead, but it was Then Shoma head. saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, what's so funny? That's when I realized when you see Death Tub in the mirror. God of energy, Inti, Inti, Kachaka Max! <laughs> That, that wasn't. <laughs> Another story about Shoma. One day I got a call from school, and a rather heavy set vice principal told me. Your Shoma called me a pig of all things! I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. Okay. Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. Said, but he was baking me crazy. He said, Oh, 
okay. I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore. But it's okay if I call a pig. Why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry. Can I go play with my friends now, vice principal? Lot of energy, inti, inti, but chuck a max! <laughs> <laughs> okay, the sign falling down is <laughs> <it's> fine. <laughs> Yeah. Are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened? Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You'd prefer someplace quiet, right? But I want to investigate the rooftop. Oh, fine. Fine. Who am I fun of clicking on every little thing up there? That they probably didn't want to program in an exclamation for. What the hell? Okay. Wait, the Ferris wheel? Well, why not? Alone with a middle aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. I thought that would have been exactly what you had Look, in mind. Look, the ants are like people. Uh, I mean. It's the other way around. Wait. Yeah. The other way around doesn't sound right either. Yeah, the people are like ants. No, I have like nothing to. Yep, that's it. That's all I have to click on. Thank you, game. <laughs> About your head. <laughs> all this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. Really, ties in general are overrated. But you weren't anyway. wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. Okay. You know I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. I appeared on several quiz shows on the side and ended up winning first place many times. Komeiji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. That's weird. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Adored wherever I went, everyone taking advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life. I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. And after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Uh... Ah. I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, I right. see. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. Hmm. Popo is offensive, please. I assume Mizuka were called Team Lemnusgate. That makes sense. Momo and Chimpe were called Team Yakuza. <laughs> Of course. I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. So like fans and tires and I see. Plane propellers, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. Uh -huh. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. How That's do you know that? Weird. It's like life, isn't it? Well, I mean, she knows that because the internet. It's ups and downs. We rotate around the same places over and over. Yep. Life and, life and death is like a wheel. At least that's what I always thought. I think, you know, you know? Death and rebirth again and again type thing. Even if you don't remember any of it. Well, the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. That's not the same, Tama. 
A boy is just like me, you know? Just like you, blockheaded? Shoma? You mentioned him on stage earlier. Yes, he really loves this Ferris wheel too. He's almost in middle school and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. Is this head a square? With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside too. <laughs> you got a point there. You're probably right. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been a handful. I see. His mother hasn't been around about three years now. Was it a divorce? Yeah. She got sick of me and left the house. I see. Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? <laughs> what? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's come. Yeah, you're well, over even if it was true, he wouldn't just admit it. I'm sorry. I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then that body suddenly appeared. Right. Did you know Jin, the victim? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. Oh, so he was a douche. <laughs> I had to guess the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. Ah, does it? A little. A lot, it's more like it. Komeichi's blood alcohol level is 0.12%, the early stages of inebriation. I, I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. You know, that that's understandable. I do not hold that against him. People have rough patches they have to get through sometimes. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Miyuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. No, I want to investigate. Aha! -ha. No. Ah, good. Out of the way, airplane. I'm trying to investigate things. Vending machines. It's not okay. Trash can. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Forget about this. You're going back to Abyss? Yeah. I want to oh. reorganize the information I have so far. You have a f you travel in a fucking limo? Well, actually, I mean, I guess it's, you are rich. Because, yeah, I said, oh, he's a rich kid, so that does make sense. Then, why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. Uh, oh. <laughs> Old lady. Uh, 
Uh, sorry, just give me a minute. Okay, sorry, something came up in mind. Anyway. <laughs> so when since you a woman. Who are you? Scream like a little girl. Shut up! Stop shouting! <laughs> but you surprised <laughs> me. I thought that the ghost of an SM pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. <laughs> that is oddly specific. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. It's your favorite food, pork, squid, cheese, shrimp. Uh, you know, between the four, cheese. What? Answers so go on a journey to their world. Mind. To a journey to become a respectable adult. Depending on how you raise it, it might be to meet new, new eyeballs. You can view the ones you raise in the picture book. So I can become an adult, sure. It's proof of cacao ratio and chocolate. Uh, you know what? 30. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else is in here that I could update it? Oh, I see. Part of the video streaming service, my VQers. It's currently the number one job element is called Children Wonder when they grew up. That's sad. <laughs> German suplex. For us, they move a bunch of grabs on around their waist and throw them back. This so can turn into a bridge and lead to a three count. Drive from a German, a certain professor, supposedly from Germany, who used this throw. Trade free. Popo shuffle, please. Let's be some stock, right? Isn't that what you're investigating for? Well, yeah, yeah but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said. For some reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. No. Just, for some reason, it's stuck in my head. Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Makes me want to puke just looking at it. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Oh, I see. Right now, I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. I, of course, control the gas and brakes. I send signals electronically. Secondly, a self-driving car. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. 
From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he also. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. Yeah, but we gotta go through what we have. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video and that QR code link. Yeah. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. That's fair. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. Wait, you didn't have your hat on back. A video similar to that one went viral. Why Everyone do you have your... was talking about it online. <laughs> Why do you have your hat back? The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? I looked it up. Here it is. Do I really uh, want to watch that? This is kind of creepy. Well, that's not Batman related at all. Hmm. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Maybe. Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Right. Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. Okay. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. Really? He coded the hidden message in Bats 490. He did? His name is Shoma Enda. Oh, he's the host's son. He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! I think. Shoma? Isn't that... Andy's Komeji's. Yeah. Which is since he figured out he's missing now, and then we can't find him. And it's like, oh my god, no. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just making things up. I have no idea. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? Oh. Okay, good. He's no His head is normal. The QR code displayed on that sign. <laughs> There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Puppet for the quiz. Dresser. Toy robot. Toybox Kotatsu. TV stand. What is that on top? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? Yeah, who knows? It's a CRT TV. But do you think it can pick up digital broadcasts? It could, with a dedicated tuner. Well, then maybe that's what that is. Family altar. <laughs> you laugh more often than you breathe. Well, she doesn't breathe at all, she's an eyeball. A picture of Ame no Uzume. 
a goddess from Japanese mythology. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. I see. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. <laughs> Wait, this was supposed to be touching? <laughs> I'm like, what the hell does that even mean? Enter button for a quiz. Holding fan for slut. Ah, uh, ha, uh ha. -huh. To a hammer. To closets. Fridge. Kitchen. That's a kitchen. Call that. Man, that is fucking tiny for a kitchen. It's Adder Rooster. Adder Rooster. Rooster. It's a character. I see. Well, there's something else I had to put I guess just him. What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. Just to confirm, your father is Andes Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? I see. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki? She's actually the one who told me about you. You know about the video called Bats490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? He's completely ignoring you. Well, maybe maybe because he's, he's wearing headphones. Yeah, it's because maybe he just can't hear you. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. Am I gonna have to sync with this what kid? What kind of metaphor is that? You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. What? Um, so what you mean is, he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. Ding! Yes, Shoma! What is your answer? Do you want to watch TV together? God, please help. You can help yourself. <laughs> Shoma, want to play Lucky Laugh together? That robot is so cool. Mr. Kameji used to be amazing. Oh, but he still is, of course. Not really. <laughs> Why don't you try going under the Kotatsu? You'd probably run away. Yeah, that would be really weird. Why would you do that? Why don't you smack Shoma on the head with the folding fan? I don't think he'd ever speak to me. Yeah, that, that's Why don't you hit your nice. own head with the hammer toy? Wow, what a jolly guy he is! I'm gonna tell him everything I know now! I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> it's in the fridge. No, I've got it, it's out of rooster. And I'm not just saying that because it's literally that you of the better room. better talk, yet. or I'll smack your butt with this broom. <laughs> oh. You just laughed a little, didn't you? That actually got a reaction. What is that? It looks like a robot. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. A homemade robot, huh? I see. Hey, Shoma. Would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Huh? How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... Tell him you heard it from Kameji. Right. 
I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? That's right. Okay, then. Just for a bit, okay? Is it more like R2-D2 or C-3PO? Okay, it's more like R2-D2. That's actually kind of cool and really impressive for like a... You made that? Yeah, like some kid in junior high just made a robot. Yeah. I call it Robata. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one type. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine-tuning it is really hard. That's... Really... That is really impressive. <laughs> Compliment strongly. That's really amazing! I can't believe a grade schooler made a robot all by himself! A genius like you must be one in a hundred million! No, no. I'm not that special. <laughs> Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. my dad. Sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? Well, because... He has a weird head. I mean, look at it. No. Why does it matter? She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Uh, no. Of course <laughs> not. Even though she's cute? That Ugo? She's not cute at all. His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I could tell. Now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Hmm? The bat's 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. Okay. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Uh... Horidori Lab. Horidori Lab? The Horidori Institute of Genetics. Okay, then. I suppose that makes sense. That it would... I mean, considering all that genetics stuff with it and everything. All right. Um. I heard about it last night on the news. Whoa, what is with Truly forehead? Truly unprecedented. Okay. What a mysterious case. I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. Uh. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. Find organization documents. Zavato. This is Excuse me. Free. What is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. It will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Go say that, that does not surprise me, Tama.
Ryuki, did you drink that fluid inside the test tube? Absolutely not. Why not? You might develop superpowers. Or die. But what if I turned into a giant green muscular freak? That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, then you get your own spin-off Marvel movie, then you get to be in the Avengers. It'd be great. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. I see. Are you familiar with genome editing? Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Yeah, that means nothing to me. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. Replace and bind, huh? In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call Purge. You're calling it Purge? Because that, that's not suspicious at all. Okay. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases. Now curable. But that's not all. In theory, using Purge, even immortality is achievable. Because you're just continually like writing and fixing like the parts of the body or whatever that are breaking down. Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. Right. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? That being said... <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be walking around as a really, like, <laughs> crippled, like, borderline immovable, or borderline immobile, like, 200-something-year-old. That would be weird. Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA. Oh. Maintaining a permanent okay. state of youth. Okay, like, permanent 30s would be fine then. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for, for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. I'm sure nothing bad can come, ever come of that. What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? I have a question got. How many legs do you like? Uh two? I guess. <laughs> Jen's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. They say seniors are early to rise, but uh, that's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Good for you. Your dream came true. I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. You know, that, that's, that's fair. Well, I'm going to actually uh, stop it here for now. So next time I'll pick up and we'll figure out what he knows, if anything, about the uh, QR video. So, wait, what is that? So, until next time, take it easy.